Welcome back. After learning about the instance, the background processes, and the memory structures, we are fit to go to jump into the database. And this section is purposely designed for understanding database components. We have looked at some of them in the previous section, like the data files, the control file, the review log files. We haven't really given it a lot of time to understand all the components. So we need to look at them. So whenever we talk about the storage, we mean the database. So what are we going to look at? Remember the storage structures are two. We have the physical and the logical storage structures. So we are going to look at the physical storage structure, then after we look at the logical storage structures. With the physical storage structures, we mean files that are visible to the operating system. That these are the different files, and these are the data files, the control files, the parameter files, and so much more. So these files that are visible to the operating system, the ones we can check and see, they are the ones we call the physical files. You can see them. But the logical storage structures, we cannot see them. So we cannot say that this is the table space. Or... So we are going to begin with one of the most important files in the database called the control file. The work of the control file is to store important information about the database. We looked at this file in the previous episode. But we need to understand it. What is that information that is stored in this file? A lot of information is stored. So far we have looked at the checkpoint information. Where, remember we say the checkpoint event, when we have data moved from the database buffer to the data file, that movement is called the checkpoint event. Whenever the checkpoint event happens, we need to update the control file and the data file headers about that movement. So that information is stored in the control file and it is extremely important when we are recovering the database from any failure. Then we look at database name, where the database is stored, what are the names and locations of different database files like the data file, the blue log file, the parameter files, etc. All this information is stored in the control file. Without a control file, we cannot start the database. This file is used whenever we are recovering the database from any loss, whenever we are starting up the database, like we are going to see in the next episode. So this file is extremely important and it should always be backed up. As a DBA, you should pay much attention to this control file. Without it, we forget about the database. We cannot start the instance. The instance will be gone, like we shall be looking at in the coming episodes. So we need to ensure that the file is backed up and we have to multiplex it. What do you mean by multiplexing? Multiplexing means making copies of the file. We need to make more copies of the file. So because of the sensitivity of information in this file, we cannot be got anywhere and it is extremely important when we are starting up the database like we are going to see in the next episode, we need to multiplex it. So this file works hand in hand with the database writer and the checkpoint process. It works hand in hand with the database writer and the checkpoint process. Since we have installed the software in the previous episode, let us learn how to multiplex the control file. So we are going to use the SQL plus command the command line. We are going to use another administrator called the sys as is DBA. We shall understand what all this means, but we are just connecting as administrators. So once we get connected, we can check out to see the different control files we have in our database. So we can see that we have three of them and we can check and see It is in local disk C, then we have Oracle, Oraxe, then the app, then Oracle, and then we have the uh, Ora data. This is just the path that we are following from local disk C, Oraxe, those are the different folders. So you can see that we have three control files. We have control file. Then we have another one and then another one. We are going to multiplex the first control file. So we are going to multiplex to make more copies of this control file and we proceed. Then how do we multiplex? We need to make a change to the system by saying alter system. And then we are setting the control files 
let us get the original location of this file and then you put a comma to come up with the new location and then we want to name this file 4 zero four so you can see that this we are making a change to the system and we are changing the control file parameters you remember the control file parameters i want to look at the parameter files very soon so we are making this is the file we want to multiplex in if you wanted to multiplex this one would have put zero one if you wanted to multiplex this one would have put zero two so this is the new file uh this is the original file and this is the new file we want to create zero four so after that, we say scope. We are going to use the SP file to make these changes. So when we run this, the system has been altered. We have created successfully the control file four. When we try to see if that file has really been created, it's no longer, it's not yet available among the control file that have been created, meaning they haven't yet recognized it so we need to restart the machine we need to restart our database to ensure that we copy the files we want we have just created the file but we haven't yet copied the details of this file so we need to after creating it it needs to be reflected but it can be reflected unless we have that we are done with the copying of the content from here the original file to the new file and how do we do that we need to restart the database how do we restart? Remember, shut down and just use the immediate so that you don't waste any time. You can now copy the content by just issuing copy. Then we need this, the original one. We are copying. This is just uh, the command for copying. We are copying the content from this file, control file, to another file we call 04. So when we are done with that, you can see that one file has been copied. So it has been a success. So we copied, we multiplexed, we copied file, the content from this file, and we pasted it on another file we call control file. That is multiplexing. So we have the original version, we have the exact content from the original control file to the new control file. So we can now start up our database once that is done. As it is starting, that is how we multiplex control files, and indeed, it has been a success. Just small steps, and we are fit to go. So, when we run again and check, when we check again, you can see that we have now control file 4 has been just created in our database. That is how we multiplex control files, and indeed, when we check here, you can see that. The previous was 01, 02. Now we have a new one called 04 with the exact content as the control, the original control file.